Hatch here. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Public Transport Victoria website. You need to know how to use this website to complete an activity in one of your assessment tasks. Now your assessment task looks very similar to this. So this is just an example, a sample task. Now the unit is access the internet and email to develop language and one of the assessment tasks involves you using the, the Public Transport Victoria website to uh, write a set of instructions. Okay, so let's have a look at the, this is just a practice, so, but the task is very similar to this. So you are meeting your friends at Footscray Railway Station on. Now I will actually give you a date so that you know which date to look up at 10 a.m. It says here, to travel to the State Library of Victoria. So this is just an example. In your assessment task, there will be a different destination, but today we are just going to do an example. Now, the first step says go to the Public Transport Victoria website by typing in this website in the web address line. So this is the Public Transport Victoria website. Now, what we're going, we're going to do is go into the website. So I'm going to go into Google and type in PTV. It should come up publictransportvictoria.gov because I've looked it up before so it's coming up and this is what the page looks like. Now you may have seen this before, some of you may have the app which you can download on your phone. It's a really really convenient um, app to have because you can, you can find out when your train might be arriving or how to get to a certain place or how much tickets cost or if there are any disruptions to your train line or bus line or tram. So it's really handy um, website and app to have to use. Now let's have a look here. So here we have in our instructions, so we'll go back, we'll look at our instructions here. The first step one we've done, we've gone into the website, so that's what you need to do first. The second step asks you in the plan menu, which is here, uh, click the link to Journey Planner to find the best way to travel to State Library of Victoria. So here we have plan, so we go into plan, and then we go into Journey Planner. So that's the next step. So that's step two. And step three involves following some more instructions. And now this task also assesses your ability to follow instructions because if you can't follow the instructions, then you're not going to do the task correctly. Okay, so it's very important to follow the instructions. So now here we are. So if we have a look here, we have um, departure and destination. So let's have a look at the next set of instructions. Okay. Here we go. Type in the place you are leaving from and type in the place you are going to. So we are leaving from Footscray Station and we are going to State Library of Victoria. So in the uh, box here, we're going to put Footscray. Now, of course, I'm going to type in correctly because I'm being videoed. So Footscray, okay, Metro train, we want the train station, the, not the bus stop or tram or, so we went Footscray station, so there we go, you can see it here on the map. Now where are we going? We're going to the State Library Victoria. Now it should come up, yes, here we go, address. So when you're looking for your destination, it will come under address, so remember that under the address. So we can click on here. So here we go, we've got from and to, okay? Now, it's not coming up as depart now, but normally when you um, put in your, um, where, your, where your, your departure point and your destination, uh, it comes up, it thinks that you're looking from now, so what the next available um, train is. Now, we're not departing now. So let's have a look at back at the instructions. You have a look here. You are not departing now, so click on Depart Now to change the date and time. Okay, now it's not actually coming up. Normally what happens here, it says Depart Now. So this is actually today's date because I'm doing it on the 13th at 11, 12 p.m. because it's nice and quiet at home. So I don't want to leave at this time. So it may come up as the time right now or normally it comes up as Depart Now. So click on this middle button. Okay, like that, because that's what you need to do to change 
the time and date because we don't want to depart now. We don't want to know what the next train is from now. We want to change the date. So the date was, if we go back and have a look, oh, I didn't set the date, did I? Okay, so let's say we want to go Friday the 15th. Okay, so I'm going to click on here and so Friday. Okay, we're going to leave Friday the 15th. So I click on the date on the calendar and the time was, um, I believe, what time? 10 a.m. Okay, so let's go back here. So then we, we're going to scroll down until we get to 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so we have to keep scrolling down. Ah, here we go, 10 a.m., great. Now, then we have to click Apply Now. So if we go to back to our instructions here, it says click Apply. Okay, so we have to click Apply. Okay, Apply. Not Apply Now, but Apply. Okay, so click Apply, so then these dates apply. All right? Fantastic. So now we have our departure date and time. So 15th of May, 10 a.m. So this is when we want to depart, okay? Now, then what you have to do is look at what is the best option, which is the easiest option. Now, obviously, leaving at 10 a.m., if we're meeting at 10 a.m., it's probably not the best option. So have a look here. This one looks pretty good because it's only 15 minutes. It, it uh, requires you catching a train and walking. So these ones, this one's, you know, a little bit more complicated. This one takes too long. This one is 15 minutes and these, this one's not good. This one's 21 minutes and I think this one looks really easy, really good. Also, the train leaves at 10.14 a.m. and uh, arrives in 15 minutes. So that's pretty good. So I think what we'll do is select this option. So we will click on this. Okay. And then it gives you the instructions. And this is what you need to write down. So you need to follow the steps and then you need to uh, write down a set of instructions. So let's have a look here. So we're leaving at Footscray Station from Platform 1. Okay. Uh, the train departs at 10.14 a.m. It goes to Melbourne Central Railway Station, so Melbourne Central arriving at 10 24 and then you walk three minutes to the state library now the state library is actually across the road from melbourne central you do, you just have to keep your instructions quite simple so if you have a look here say say for example you didn't know where the state library was you can click on these little arrows and it will tell you it will actually give you the instructions continue along knox street for one minute and then turn left on little lonsdale walk for two minutes so this actually gives you more detail for this assessment task you don't have to give that much detail okay so it's not you're not required to to be that specific also here if you click on here it will actually tell you the train stations so this is handy for example if you had a friend meeting you at Flagstaff and you had you know wanted to tell them the, the the train time and the platform then you could have a look and say okay I'll meet you at you know platform 3 at 1022 and you can get on the train but we don't need that information for this task okay we just need this information just it's just about us seeing that you can follow the instructions and write the steps so let's have a look at what you would write um, in the assessment task um, all these instructions here okay so let's have a look okay so we've followed these steps okay let's have a look here so we're going to click on this one here I'm going to just uh, delete these lines so that I can write in here okay all right now so let's have a look here okay so if we go back to what I might do is just give me one moment I'm going to fiddle around with this page now, this is the first time I've done a screen recording, so <laughs> if I'm a little bit, okay, here we go. So, therefore, I can see both, both pages, which is good. Okay, so let's have a look here now. So, now, hang on a second, that just played up on me. Okay, like I said, let's move that across. There we go, so you can see both pages. Okay, so let's have a look here. So, now... So your instructions um, need to be quite simple. So what you would do is you might, you, you don't have to include sequence markers if you don't want to. I might just increase the size of this to make it nice and big. Okay, so first, 
Okay, now we're going to catch. You can also say take if you want to. Some people say take the train. Some people say catch the train. Take um, the 10.14 a.m. train from platform one. Now we know we're at Footscray Railway Station because we're meeting at Footscray Railway Station. So you don't need to say from Footscray Railway Station. If you want to, that's fine. So catch uh, or catch the 10.14 a.m. train from platform one to, where are we going? Melbourne, Melbourne Central. Rail, we can just say station. We know it's a railway station, so Melbourne Central Station. Okay, that's pretty easy. Okay, so catch the 10 14 a.m. train from platform one to Melbourne Central Station. You can put platform one at the start, so you can say first um, from platform one, catch the 10 14 a.m. train to Melbourne Central Station. That's fine. Um, it's don't put to Melbourne Central Station at the beginning because because that sounds that's not right. So you can either you can put from platform one at the beginning, okay, or you can have it this way. It's fine either way, okay. And then we can have then or next or after that, whatever uh, you like. Then uh, walk. So then walk three minutes. We'll just put three. You can write the word out if you like. Then walk three minutes to the I'm not gonna the actually to the state. Okay. Why is it that when I'm people are watching that I can't type? <laughs> it always happens. All right, there we go. Then walk three minutes to the State Library of Victoria. Now, again, like I said, if you wanted more specific instructions, then you could click on that. But for this task, we don't need it. We're just going to keep it really simple. So now you need to include here. Oh, actually, look what I've done. I put this should go actually uh, under there. Oh, look what I've done. I'm mucking it all up. So let me just bring this down. This should actually go. Yeah. Okay. Should go underneath writing the steps. Not um, not here. Okay, so these are your instructions. So let me just highlight them in yellow. Okay, there you go. First, catch uh, the or take the 10.14 a.m. train from Platform 1 to Melbourne Central Station. Then walk three minutes to the State Library of Victoria. So, so easy. Okay. Uh, now, how long does the trip take? So we had to look up here. 15 minutes. So here you just write 15 minutes. Okay, so however long the journey takes, then you write the time here. So that's pretty straightforward, okay? All right, so there you go. So that's that's pretty simple, isn't it? So that's all really you're required to do. We might try another one, which is a little bit, a little bit more complex, um, but still quite simple. Okay, so let's have a look at, and it's actually, um, let's have a look at another one, another task. Okay, so this one we're going to go to the Shrine of Remembrance uh, at 11 a.m. We're going to meet at Footscray Railway Station and we'll still go on the same day. We'll go on the 15th of May. So we're going to follow the same steps to complete um, the instructions. So let's have a look. Let's go back here to our um, Public Transport Victoria website. Now we'll, go, we'll start again. First step, plan, journey planner. Simple, okay. Departure. Where are we leaving from? Footscray Station. Where are we going? Now we were going to go to the Shrine of Remembrance. Do you know where the Shrine of Remembrance is in the city? It's where there's that sort of um, stone building in the city that um, is a memorial for people who fought in the war. Um, and uh, it's quite easy to get to. Um, so we'll, we'll type this in here. So we're going to um, Shrine of Remembrance. Shrine of Remembrance. It should come up. Now, what I want you to pay close attention to is that when you are typing in the address, 
of where you're going. Don't choose tram or bus, choose address because this is the address, the death, the place. Okay, so if you choose um, Shrine of Remembrance, it will give you instructions on how to get there by tram. Okay, so we don't want that all by bus. So we want to choose um, the um, ad address. So there's two there. I think they're both the same. I'm not sure. Um, Shine of Remembrance Melbourne. Oh, let's just choose that one. Okay, doesn't really matter. You're not doing this one for your assessment task anyway. So, but it's just a practice. Okay, so we've chosen the Shrine of Remembrance. Now, again, normally here, it comes up depart now. And in fact, this is saying to me, oh, we're departing now. We're going to, you know, what's the next train from 11.24 tonight? Now, we don't want to depart now. So this is, this is a really, really important step because if you don't do this step and you choose one of these options, you're, you won't uh, be successful in passing the task because you haven't followed the instructions. And so it's really, really important that you follow the instructions. Okay, so we're not departing now. So this may come up as leaving the, what, what the time and date is now at this moment, or it might just come up as depart now. It normally does come up as depart now, but at the moment it's coming up with the time now, So, which is the same thing really. Okay, um, so now we click on this, okay, because we need to change the date and time. So you can see here, select date and time. So we're going to leave um, on the 15th, so we put in the date, and we're going to leave at 11 a.m. So we need to scroll down to 11 a.m. Okay, here. Okay, because we're going to meet at 11 a.m. After we've chosen the date and the time, we click apply now. Apply, not apply now. Why do I keep saying apply now? I'm thinking of depart now. So we click apply. So that means we are, we're applying those that date and time. So now let's have a look. Okay, so uh, now. We need to choose the easiest option and the quickest option. So probably not leaving at 11, um, we're meeting at 11. So we need a time that's a bit later than 11. Um, so why don't we look at this one because um, you've got 20, uh, hang on, yeah, 25 minutes and it's got a train, walking, tram, walking. Well, they're all pretty much the same, but this one leaves later. So we'll choose the one that is um, the, the short, has the shortest duration. And also this is 11.07. So if we're meeting at 11, this is a good time to catch the train. So let's click on this option. Okay, so now we have our instructions. And as you can see, they're a little bit more complex than the other ones. But nonetheless, still simple. Okay, so don't worry. So let's have a look at the instructions here. So let's so okay, all the steps I should say. So we're we're departing from Footscray Station from platform five at eleven oh seven. And two, we're going to Flinders Street Railway Station in the city, and I'm sure you're all familiar with Flinders Street Station. So now we have to walk. Where are we walking to? So we're walking, so, so the, the blue is train. These little steps are walking. So we're walking three minutes, but where are we walking to? This is tram. So we're going to catch a tram, okay, to um, a de our destination. So we got this, when you see um, this, like for example, uh, 13, this is actually the stop, the tram stop. And this is the tram number, so tram 64 to East Brighton. So the tram goes to East Brighton. So you know when you catch a tram and on the top it actually has the end um, point, so where it actually, um, the, the final destination is on the tram and a bus is the same, so it tells you where it's going. So this tram goes all the way to East Brighton and the tram is number 64 and the stop is 13 and it's at um, Federation Square okay so this is that's what this is telling you so we're basically going to um, walk three minutes to um, stop 13 at Federation Square and we're going to catch tram 64 to where the Shrine of Remembrance to stop 19 at the Shrine of Remembrance okay and then we're going to walk four minutes to the Shrine of Remembrance. 
okay now you're probably thinking oh that sounds so complicated but it's not really okay so let's have a look do some let's have have a little practice here okay and okay we'll work through it slowly and hopefully this this um practice task or this example will help you when you do your assessment task okay so let's move i'm going to move this across again okay so i can type in the box here and make it big all right so we'll do it we'll take it step by step so again we start by we might say first what are we doing catch i'm going to use catch because i don't usually say take the train i usually say catch but you can say take that's fine catch v okay 11 07 a.m train to oh uh okay now we're going to say that from let's do from first um from platform actually it doesn't really matter whether you put the platform you know to um, Flinders Street Station from platform five. Like it, where the from platform goes doesn't really matter so much. Um, I'm just putting it here for the moment. Where did I put it? Let me just check. Where did I put it? Yes, yeah, so I did this. I put it in the same spot last time as well, just so I don't confuse you. So catch the 11:07 a.m. train from platform five to where are we going? Flinders Street. Okay, Flinders Street Station. We don't need to say railway station. We know it's the station. Okay, so catch the 11.07 uh, a.m. train from Platform 5 to Flinders Street Station. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is walk, um, walk three minutes to stop tram stop 13 so let's just write this down walk three minutes to actually we don't need to put that in capitals to tram stop 13 at federation square you all know federation square don't you we know it's on Swanson Street. You don't have to put that there. We know as long as you say it's at Federation Square. Okay, you can put Swanson Street. You could slash Swanson Street if you wanted to. That's okay. All right. So walk three minutes to tram stop 13 at Federation Square. Okay. We can say take. Usually I say mm, catch the train, take a tram or catch a tram. I usually say catch the train, take a tram, take the tram. Often I say take. Look, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. If you say catch the tram, that's okay too. So I'm going to use take though. I'll use take the tram. So take tram 64, okay, to where? To okay to um stop 19 at the shrine of at shrine of remembrance we don't have to pull that it's okay in this case at shrine of remembrance it's, it's actually st kilda it's actually um st kilda row so you can put st kilda road if you want to but you don't have to if you wanted to you could put slash um St Kilda Road. Whoopsies. Okay, St Kilda Road. But you don't have to. It's optional. The same with here. You don't have to put Swanson Street. Okay, it's up to you. But well I'll I'll just leave it there. Okay, so take tram 64 to stop 19 at I'm gonna put the I like to have my to um 19 to stop 19 at the shrine of remembrance in Kilda Road. Okay. Uh because obviously you should say that we don't say at the Federation Square, we don't use that in this case, but we do say the shrine of remembrance because that's actually the name. It's its name, the shrine of remembrance. Okay, so uh now, or oh, you should put the shrine, yes. 
I think I'm rambling now. Okay, so, um, but if you don't put that, it's also okay because we're just giving simple instructions. So if you do say take tram 64 to stop 19 at Shrine of Remembrance, so um, you, that's also fine as well, okay? Um, but you can put, I like the sound of the Shrine of Remembrance. I like to put the article there, okay? All right, uh, now, to and we could also t um, put here take tram to we don't really need to put tram stop. You can if you want to, because but we know it's a tram stop because you're catching the tram. So take tram 64 to tram stop 19. So this is kind of optional. You don't really need to repeat yourself because we know that it is a tram stop. Okay. Now, so what do we do after that? Okay. Um, now, okay, walk. Four minutes to the shrine of to the shrine of remembrance. Okay. So, and again, remember, if you wanted more more detail, you can actually click here. See, it says continue along St Kilda Road, turn right. The shrine of remembrance is so big that you you can't miss it. Um. So. So here, um, now, so here we don't need to write those instructions, so it's fine, so don't stress about that. And look here, it gives you all the, like, the tram stops as well, you know, the tram stops, but we don't need that, okay, just keep them really simple. So let's have a look to make sure that they're correct. First, catch the 11.07 a.m. train from Platform 5 to Flinders Street Station, okay, good. Walk three minutes to tram stop 13 at Federation Square. So the name of Federation Square. Now, um, take tram 64 to stop 19 at the Shrine of Remembrance, St Kilda. Okay, uh, good, good, good. And then we have walk four minutes to the Shrine of Remembrance. So uh, if we can include some sequence markers. You don't have to. You could say first, catch this, um, then walk you know after that um next do next it's easier you don't have to include sequence markers okay it's up to you okay you're assessed on that you're assessed on being able to use the website uh, follow the instructions and write the directions so um okay just finally work here. Let me read it through. Okay, uh, first catch the, uh, let's go here. First catch the 11.07 a.m. train from platform 5 to Flinders Street Station. Then walk three minutes to tram stop 13 at Federation Square. Next, take tram 64 to stop 19 at the Shrine of Remembrance. Okay. Um, yeah, so, okay, and then finally walk four minutes to the Shrine of Remembrance. I think that's fine, okay? Um, now, let's have a look. How long is it going to take? It is going to take 25 minutes, so don't forget to write how long it's going to take, okay? So, um, okay, now, so these are the instructions here. So basically what you're required to do is in your assessment task, you will be given a, you're all leaving from Footscray Station, you will be given a date and a time, okay? And then you need to go into the website and you need to follow the steps and you need to write the directions like here in your assessment okay and make sure that you include the time as well all right how long the um the trip takes and you whether you put sequence markers or not doesn't really matter but you should use imperative verbs okay like here because that makes it really simple and easy to understand okay so the first step will be catch the whatever train from whatever platform to wherever station okay you're going to or um wherever it is that the destination where, where the um the train um station is that you'll get you, you will then catch something else to get to where you need to go 
Um, and uh, and then in this case, we're catching the tram. The other one was a bit sinful. I think, I believe the one in the assessment task will involve um, catching a tram from memory, I think, but I could be wrong or it could be two trains, but it won't be as simple as the, um, the state library. It will be a little bit more complex, but not difficult. So just remember when you're looking at the, um, at the um, steps, look at this is blue, this is train. So this is your train. You don't need to say what train line it is or anything like that. Keep it really simple. So just say um, the platform, the time, the um, where you're going. So where is this? Where is the train going to stop? So obviously it's going to stop at a. It's a train line, so it's going to stop at a train station. So where are you going? And then from here, look at your instructions. Okay, um, you're walking to a tram stop. Okay, so you're walking. How long? Three minutes. Where to? This is tram stop number. So this is tram stop thirteen at Federation Square. Okay, and then you catch or you take the 64, the tram, you take tram 64 to where? You're not going to East Brighton, you're actually going here. Okay, this is the where the actual train ends up, tram, sorry, ends up. So you catch tram 64 to stop 19 at the Shrine of Remembrance, okay, at, which is on St Kilda Road. And then you walk four minutes to the Shrine of Remembrance, okay? So if you follow these steps, you should be okay, all right? The key also is to make sure that you, you follow these directions where you go journey planner, okay? And then you put in the right destination, Footscray Station, we were going to the Shrine of Remembrance, okay? then remember that we need this must be changed okay when are we going when are we going to leave okay we're going to leave on the 15th and we're going to leave at 11 a.m okay so we scroll down until the morning we get to 11 a.m uh, here leaving a.m apply okay and then you'll you choose the best option we chose this one here because it was the shortest time 11.07 was a good time and then you click on that option and then it gives you the instructions here, okay? So, um, you know, train, walking, tram. Remember, this is the tram stop number and this is where the tram stop is, okay? This is the number of the tram. Again, tram stop number, okay, where it is. And, um, and walking and then remember you don't have to include all these different times just only the time that you're leaving is enough okay for this task don't forget to include um, the time how long it takes okay so hopefully um, this explanation has helped you to understand the Public Transport Victoria website and how to use it Hopefully uh, you'll have the opportunity to do a practice task before the assessment so that you can practice um, these skills. Now remember that if you have any questions um, or problems, um, just let me know. So send me a message um, and I'll, I, I'll be more than happy to help you. So good luck with your assessment task. I'm sure you'll be fine if you follow these steps. Watch the video a few times if you need to and um, and do the practice tasks um, because they will help you, okay? So good luck and thanks for listening. I hope it was helpful. Okay, bye.